Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Weiner from the Aesthetic Clinic, and uh, we have a great new procedure for hair loss that I want to explain to you. It's called uh, PRP, platelet-rich plasma, you, as well as A-cell combined, uh, and you inject it into the scalp of people that have thinning hair, and it actually makes the hair more dense and thicker over the next several months. Uh, the treatment takes about an hour and a half to do, and it consists of uh, drawing your blood and then uh, spinning it, and I'll explain that a little later, to get the platelet-rich plasma out of the blood. The great thing about platelet-rich plasma is it's full with uh, growth factors and cytokines, which stimulate stem cells, the stem cells that create the hair, and also stimulates uh, the blood vessels to grow into these areas that have lost a little of their blood supply. And the combination of those two factors significantly improves the circulation to the old hair follicles and makes it thicker. It, it makes the hair follicles that have stopped growing hair to start to grow hair. And so, um, it, and, and uh, it was first discovered about five to six years ago when they were doing hair transplants. And during the hair transplants, they found that doing the, the PRP and the A-cell made the hair transplants work even better. So now we're just doing it without the hair transplants. And this, this gentleman has actually had three uh, hair transplants. And uh, he's just tired of the hair transplants. And he, he explained to me his reasons. And can you explain what, what your experience was with the hair transplants? Okay, well, I'd pretty much given up on going further because, uh, first of all, the cost was pretty big. Uh, pain level was, at least for me, significant. And uh, just the length of time it took for, you had to do small portions at a time. Uh, um, the first two were pretty significant amounts of hair that stayed for a while and had some pretty good results for a while, but even over time those began to fall out. So I pretty much decided that was going to be all I was going to do with that until it was suggested that I might want to look a little further into this. How about this? This is a uh, procedure that I personally had, um, and it gave me about a day, day and a half of some swelling that you could see. And then after that, um, it, it, there was no, no significant swelling. There was no discomfort except if I touched the areas where I injected. So. Um, and I expect to see some improvements in about three, four months. And it continues to improve for about a year or so. And then after that point, you need a reinjection. Men, it's typically uh, recommended that men get about two of these injections to start off with. Women do much better with this procedure, and only one is needed. Um, so um, what we do is uh, we're going to draw his blood in a split second. And then I'm going to come back in and numb the entire uh, scalp in a, in a, we call it a ring block, in a circular fashion. Then I'm going to inject the PRP, and then I'm going to inject some, um, maybe not in that quite order, but I'm also going to inject this A-cell. This A-cell is a, uh, another product that's really uh, neat because it stimulates the stem cells and uh, repair uh, of wounds, and, and it's been used mainly in wounds that aren't healing, uh, but they've also uh, started to use it in this type of procedure. And what it does is it stimulates uh, better improvement, uh, more, more stem cell uh, migration and into the areas, and you get a better result with that. And also I give a vitamin D, and that seems to help as well. Um, after we're all done with the injections, then we come back and we're going to do something called uh, Dermapen, which is microneedling. And we're going to do it throughout the whole scalp. And that, there's a thousand needles per second, actually 1,300 needles per second, that makes these really teeny holes in the scalp. And then we're going to put on top of that some more plasma called platelet pleur plasma, which is um, the other part of the plasma that doesn't have as many platelets as the platelet rich plasma, but it still has platelets in it. And that stimulates even, so it's more like fertilizer afterwards. Um, we leave that on um, for the night, 
and then in the morning he could wash his scalp. Um, so let's, let's get started with drying his blood because that takes about 15 minutes. So right now what we're doing is we're using the Magellan PRP system automatically siphons the blood into the centrifuge and over about 15 minutes the centrifuge then um, separates out the red blood cells which is 45 percent of our blood into serum and then the serum is platelet rich serum which is PRP platelet rich plasma and platelet poor plasma. In any event the reason why this system is so great is because it's completely enclosed. The other thing that's great about this particular system as opposed to other systems uh, is that it creates a platelet rich plasma that is between four and seven times uh, the concentration that it's in the blood. And you need to have a concentration of at least four times for it to be beneficial. So again, this takes around uh, 15 minutes to do and we're going to do it a second time because um, we're, we're going to have a little more area to cover. So, so what, what the 60 cc's of blood will yield is 10 cc's of platelet-rich plasma and 20 cc's of platelet-poor plasma. So doing it a second time, we get 20 of the platelet-rich and 40 of the platelet-poor, PPP. So uh, we'll let's let this go, and then we'll go on and start numbing his uh, scalp up. OK. so. Since uh, you've been gone, the audience, what I've done is, is I've numbed him in a ring with lidocaine. So this procedure from now on should be practically pain-free. There might be an area or two that he feels, but probably not. So the first thing I'm injecting now is uh, A cell, and it's combined with vitamin D. And I'm going to inject that throughout the entire area that we're going to inject the PRP. In the background, you hear the centrifuge still going on. And that's because we're doing a second batch of PRP to get even more. So right now, I'm just injecting this A cell combo. And uh, this acts like a further stimulant to the area for stem cells. And we want to try to create a nice hairline up here for him. I'm glad we got this second batch of PRP because there's a large area here that we have to cover. So there we put in the uh, A cell and the vitamin D and uh, he didn't feel any of that. So um, we're back again and what I have here is the PRP, the 10 cc's of PRP. I have here is calcium chloride. Calcium chloride is necessary to activate the PRP so that all those growth factors and all that are released. If I didn't do that, then they would stay within the platelets. So what I do is I activate it, I mix them together, and I'm activating the PRP now. And once I activate it, those, I only have around seven minutes to inject this. So here we go. And I wanted to tell you about PRP. PRP has been used uh, in orthopedics for quite a while. It's been shown to be extremely effective for helping um, heal bones. Um, chronic wounds. Um, it's been used in oral surgery. But the other thing it's been used for in orthopedics is for injuries, like in the shoulders and knees. Um, like Tiger Woods got PRP injected in his knee uh, when, he, when he recently had a knee problem. It's great for injecting people that have torn shoulders, okay, because uh, you're getting their stem cells to help heal your wound no surgery involved and it works a lot of the time without any surgery. So this isn't a new concept but it's kind of new to the aesthetic world. Let me see you turn a little bit. So I'm just injecting the PRP throughout his scalp and it, it will gradually flow 
equilibrize. So I'm just, he doesn't feel much of this. Not at all. Okay, so that's um, one syringe of the PRP. We have another syringe uh, spinning down, and once we're done with that, uh, we'll inject that. So that's it. So that's the PRP A cell vitamin D injection. And then just to give us a little more boost, we're going to do a derma pen, which he, we're going to do in the same areas, and then sprinkle on some PPP, some platelet pore plasma. And that he's going to uh, keep on his hair until the next morning when he washes it off. But overall, just the, just the initial injection to numb him is what he told me was what he felt, but after that it was all numb. Again, personally, I've had this done afterwards. I didn't take any type of pain medication. I had a, some swelling for about a day and a half, but I went to work. I went actually to dinner that night using a baseball cap, and um, I didn't take any pain medicine afterwards. It was a little tender when you touched it, but other than that, it was okay. So uh, we're gonna get ready for the next step, which is the uh, PPP with the derma pen, the, the microneedling. This is our final step in the uh, PRP A cell um, hair restoration. And Janice over here to my right um, is using a derma pen, which is fine micro needles that are doing 1300 penetrations per second. And Sandy is, uh, is dripping the PPP on the areas to uh, make it through those micro channels. We're going to leave it on the scalp overnight. And so um, what I failed to mention in the past was uh, there are studies that have shown that this uh, procedure has, a su has success in all the patients that it is used on in the study. There was an improvement of anywhere from 11% to 62% in their hair density. And that uh, started at a period of around three, four months, and then it uh, improved till about 11 months, and then it started to decrease a little bit. So this is not a permanent fix. You need booster shots. You need some fertilization with the stem cells uh, and the PRP. And that is uh, about one year. So uh, we have just demonstrated the PRP A cell hair restoration injection. And uh, he, he's holding this. He wants to, me to remind everyone that we do give a Bosley 30-day kit uh, of hair care products uh, to everyone that has this. And, and Bosley's obviously been around for years, and they know a lot about hair restoration. So we believe in the Bosley system to treat the hair afterwards. So. Um, in summary, uh, the PRP injection has been around for quite a long period of time, particularly in orthopedic injuries, and now it's starting to be used in the um, aesthetic market. Um, it's been used in transplants, hair transplants, bathing the hair follicles, and noted to have better take, as well as uh, faster healing times. And then they said, well, why don't we just use the uh, PRP for the hair without the transplants, and that's been shown to work. So you're improving the hair uh, completely naturally with your own uh, immune system, uh, with stem cells and uh, um, growth factors and cytokines. And we should see improvements starting at about three months. And he's ready to go. Uh, only restriction, uh, there's really no restrictions tonight. He could wear a cap and go out to dinner. He'll note a little bit of swelling by tomorrow. He washes off his hair and uh, uses the Bosley system and then I see him uh, for follow-up in a month or two. Thank you. If you want any further information, please see our website, which is theclinique.net. And on there, there's a uh, PRP for hair uh, restoration. Thank you.